Hello, my name is Luca. I'm at the Côte Sauvage in France and you're watching Fun for Louis. Enjoy! Boom! Good morning guys. We have come down to a beachside restaurant today for some breakfast and I'm hoping we can go for a little swim because this is like paradise here. It's like the most idyllic beach. Cheeky little veggie burger, some rice, fries, and there's some sweet potato coming for me as well. What do you get, Raya? We got like coconut fish and sweet potato mash. Mmm. The sea is calling us. It's calling us. We need to. We need to go. time down at the beach. I can't believe this is the first time we've been here. We've been here for a few days already. But, um, yeah, <laughs> amazing. We're now heading to find a waterfall which is nearby. What's the name of the waterfall? Duns River Falls, I think. Duns River Falls. Yeah. We've had a few people recommend that we go and check out these waterfalls. So thanks if you've commented in one of the other videos of places we should check out. Thank you. We were walking around last night trying to avoid getting attacked by guard dogs. I forgot to ask you guys, what do you think of the um, the footage in the water? Basically, I um, I was using this kind of underwater housing thing for my A7R. So um, yeah, just experimenting. I think for a lot of ways it's not as good as a GoPro, but. The quality for some of it should be better. I haven't actually looked at it yet, but let me know if you liked it. So Raya came here six years ago and she said from what she can remember, it isn't dry, like we shouldn't take our cameras. Well, I can take my GoPro, but we shouldn't take anything that we can't get wet. So I'm gonna leave my clothes and bag and everything here and hopefully we can uh, capture the beauty of the waterfall for these guys. So this was the housing I was using on the beach. It's just like a, a flexible housing for a lot of different cameras that I got from B&H. I'm gonna test it out at the waterfall as well, see how it holds up. Could be quite nice. Oh, oh the floor is stony.
Guys, that was oh, just so beautiful. The rocks were so grippy. We managed to walk up there like it, only I only slipped once and it wasn't that bad. But um, yeah, that was like one of the most magical waterfalls I've walked up. We're rushing now to see if we can get to the, the toboggan run before it closes. Go what? Toboggan? What bobsled? You, bobsled, yeah, toboggan. Bob, bobsled, same thing. I've never heard of that <laughs> Is that just an English word? It can't be. It doesn't sound English, toboggan. Maybe it's like Austrian or something. Austrian? Just pick a random country. Toboggan, what does toboggan say? No, it sounds more like um, Scandinavian. Maybe it's like a Norwegian word. What's this guy doing? Is he waiting there? No? Bad news guys, we, we rushed here because someone had told us 5pm was the latest but apparently they stopped the bobsled at 3.30 so we're going to have to come back tomorrow morning. But Raya's very happy because she found, she found mangoes. Show us the mangoes. Oh, I'm so yeah. excited. Yeah? Mangoes are my favourite fruit. She's been talking about mangoes the whole time so. You enjoying your mango? Yeah, this is how he said people in Jamaica eat it. You peel it with your teeth. It looks crazy, doesn't it? Yeah, I've never seen a mango look like that. <laughs> Do you like eating it like that? Yeah, I love mango, so I'm just happy right now. Guys, we were due to leave Jamaica tomorrow. Um, but we just couldn't, we couldn't come to terms with the fact that we haven't done a lot of stuff that we wanted to and it's just so beautiful here. So I think the plan is we're extending our flights another two days, so that's the plan. It's not definite yet, but I'm hoping we can extend our flights and the thought of that makes me very happy. Oh, this is nice. So this is the restaurant. We're just having a little tour. I think this is pretty good. There's a hot tub. And look at this view. What do we have? This is Sunday. Uh, okay. I'm getting a quick massage before dinner. That's what I'm talking about. I just got massaged by three people at the same time. And it was the best massage of my life. I'm still in a daze. It was just, it was just unbelievable. Right, did you have a nice sleep? Yes, I did, thank you. I didn't even know I was tired until I saw the bed. Look at the size of this moth. They're everywhere. Hey, mister. Are any of you guys scared of moths? Because this is stuff of nightmares. You are. Hello, Mr. Lizard. How are you doing? Dinner is served. This is Rasta pasta. What did you get, Raya? Um, I got salmon with French fries, green beans. Guys, you're going to be so angry with me. You know how I'm always losing everything? Well, this woman just came up to me, we were just sitting at the restaurant, and she said, this is your passport. And I was like, where was that? She said, it was out in the car park. I just dropped it when I was bringing my bag in. It was just, it's just been sitting in the car park this whole time. That is so lucky. I need it. I had it in the back of my bag, but I just hadn't zipped it up, so it obviously fell out, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> it's been a... Good day exploring Jamaica. I think we're hanging around this area tomorrow because there's lots of cool things to visit around here and we've only just scratched the surface. We have, like I was saying earlier, we have now changed our flights. So we're not flying out till for another two days. So I'm excited because we would have had to leave tomorrow otherwise and that's just not long enough. I'm learning some things about traveling still, even though I've traveled a lot. It's that like I don't think Visiting new places 
that are cool, like really cool to explore. I don't think it's worth staying like less than a week. I think it's always worth trying to put aside a week. So um, sometimes I feel like I'm just flying in and out of places way too fast to to meet the people and really see the culture. And uh, I doubt I will even really get to absorb much of the culture um, staying a week. But that's uh, that's how long I've got, um, and it's. Yeah, it's been it's been very cool, very cool. Well done, Jamaica. You're an awesome country. <laughs> I'll explore some more of you tomorrow. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom. <laughs>